plus roots level. Great, Thank Giles. you, Giles. Thank Always you. great inside track from Giles Brandreth. Uh, if you want to change the world, you don't have to become Prime Minister, of course. You can set your message to music. It worked for Annie. Thanks to her, sisters all over the planet are now doing it for themselves. In the first of a series about music with a message, we look back at the numerically titled anti-war song you just couldn't avoid in the mid-80s. This film is presented by Des Coleman. De 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 Des Coleman. In 1985, a dance track called 19 carried a grim message all the way to the top of the charts worldwide. In World War II, the average age of the combat soldier was 26. In Vietnam, he was 19. In, 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 in Vietnam, he was 19. This was no trivial song about teenage angst. 19 referred to the average tender age of soldiers who fought in Vietnam. The figure prompted composer Paul Hardcastle into musical action. How come you came to write something that was so political? It was all due to a program I watched. It was called Vietnam Requiem, and I just looked at the average age of the kids being sent out to war. I was only 25 at the time, and I just thought, what would I have been doing at 19? And I was out dancing and clubbing and stuff, and I thought, would I have liked to have been in some jungle, being sort of shot at, and you know, all the things that go on with war, really. So that was the thing. I just thought my life compared to theirs, big, big difference. I had this new piece of equipment called an emulator and it was a, one of the first ever samplers but the problem was I could only ever get two seconds of sampling time in the machine you know now you can get hours but this was one of the first ones and the only thing that would actually fit into it was the word 19 that was where the chorus came from Paul took the track to his record company they were unsure about promoting such a potentially controversial subject but a certain Simon Fuller, later of Spy Skills and Pop Idol fame, believed it would be a hit. He said, I really like this track. He said, I've got an idea. Why don't I leave Chrysalis and become your manager? And three weeks later, we was number one all over the world. In fact, it was number one in 13 countries and won an Ivor Novella Award for Best International Hit of 1985. When you look back at that particular song, you analyse it, you break it down. Mm -hmm. Why do you think it became a hit? I think it was because it was so different. No one had heard nothing like that before. And it talked about a subject, a very touchy subject, which was war. It was like bang in people's faces rather than try to be cute about it. I had some fantastic letters from uh, Vietnam vets. They just flooded in. According to a Veterans Administration study, half of the Vietnam combat veterans suffer from what psychiatrists call post-traumatic stress disorder. They couldn't understand why some young British kid was talking about Vietnam. And in the video, at the end of it, you see that they've gone out, risked their lives for, for their country, and then come back and they're all homeless and things like that. So they said, thank you for keeping our name alive. And 25 years on, there's yet another war, making Paul Hardcastle's hit painfully topical. So he's reworked his classic track for a modern conflict. There was an English um, sergeant major, I think he was, and I heard this guy say, I remember looking at my men, the average age was 19. My God, you know, I'm taking boys to war. 19. And I went, but I said that 25 years ago. And so that was the reason that I then took 19 from then and added all the new bits to it now. 19. I wrote the new lyrics with a view from being a soldier being sent out there. I wish I didn't really have had to put the new lyrics in it because it would have meant that it was a much better place. If I don't understand what I'm fighting for. History keeps repeating itself and there's one phrase in there that says, does this all sound too familiar? And I think it really does. That's the problem. The average age was 19. History keeps repeating itself. Uh, presumably, Annie, you're a firm believer in, in the power of a song to change things, change oh, the world. Yeah, unquestionably. I mean, music always collects people together, together. It gives them this wonderful platform where people go, wow, we, be wow, we believe in this. Mm. And it's powerful. Politicians know that very well, too. Of course they do, yeah. But you're, you're moving slightly, taking a sidestep away from that. You're becoming a shopkeeper or a